So finished in the Volkswagen Arena, Wolfsburg 2, Arsenal 0. Difficult to quibble with the scoreline, really, from an Arsenal perspective. A pretty even second half, but really in the first half, Wolfsburg were very, very dominant. Really pinned Arsenal back with that press. And Jonas Eideval, when I just spoke to him, said he was very disappointed that Arsenal didn't deal with that better because they knew that Wolfsburg were going to do that. They did that a bit at the Emirates, and Jonas kind of said that um, he felt that Wolfsburg probably felt they didn't give a great account of themselves at the Emirates and he always felt that they were going to come into this game really, really hot, really high pressing, uh, going player for player, man for man. Um, and that's exactly what they did. So he said he wasn't taken by surprise by the tactic at all. It's just that Arsenal didn't deal with it in the first half. He said they made a little bit of an adjustment in the second half that they kind of moved around where Kim and Kim Little and Frieda Marnham were uh, to try and drag Wolfsburg out of the press, uh, try and drag them higher up the pitch and out of position, and Arsenal got some joy. Um, and then the second half was pretty even, but just at the point where Arsenal really looked like they were coming into the game, an, un an unfortunate own goal from Leah Williamson made it 2-0, and you just don't come back from 2-0 uh, against Wolfsburg. Um, particularly at home at the Volkswagen Arena in front of 11,000 of their own fans. And, uh, and really, I think one of the... I spoke to Kim Little as well after the game, and one of the things she spoke about, and I completely agree with this, I asked her what the big learning point was. I think we played really well at both times within the games, both legs, um, but not for long enough. Um, and I think across the two legs, we maybe created chances, but we weren't clinical enough. Um, and I think... At the key moments, we didn't keep the ball well enough, especially in our, um, in our attacking third. So they were countered a lot, and I think um, that's definitely one thing. Just on reflection of the games, that um, I think at this level, you know, that needs to be, you know, much better from us. Um, and that, that was really the big learning point that when Arsenal are playing on position of this quality, when they do get on the top, when they do get some possession, they really needed to be a bit more dangerous uh, than they were because they did have good periods, but they just didn't really create enough chances. Um, they did hit the bar and then the post from a corner shortly after going 2-0 down. And had that gone in, it might have been a very, very different end to the game. Uh, but Jonas also um, quite baffled by a couple of things. First of all, he felt that Wolfsburg should have had more yellow cards that there were lots of fouls in the game and Wolfsburg left the game without a single yellow card, which he was uh, not that happy about. And a bizarre situation with Leo Valti as well. He said that Leo Valti was denied the opportunity to travel to the game today by UEFA. Not entirely clear on why she couldn't travel with the team on Wednesday. He wouldn't be totally drawn on that. I don't know if it's a COVID thing and maybe her isolation ended today, but he said it's a UEFA rule that a player cannot travel alone to a game. So he said that Leo Volti was ready and prepared to travel this morning uh, to Germany to come to the game, but UEFA did not permit that and he was not happy about that at all, to say the least. And he pointed out that Leo, of course, will go and join up with Switzerland after the Leicester game on Sunday and she will travel on her own and he doesn't understand why the rules are different for the Champions League. And Arsenal really missed Leo in midfield, it has to be said. Um, they don't really have a backup defensive midfielder. It's probably the one area of the squad that's a little bit bare, where the cupboard's a little bit bare. And of course, Leah's probably been Arsenal's best player um, since New Year. So it was a big miss for Arsenal uh, and a slightly confusing uh, kind of scenario there. Not really sure what was wrong, but at least it sounds like she's healthy and available for Sunday when Arsenal play in the WSL away at Leicester City just before the international break.